Hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day to everybody everywhere. And I thought as it was Valentine's Day I would um, I would share a little va uh, song with you which I love to do around this time of year. And it's called Love Somebody and let me sing it to you first. Get, get a quick pitch. Mm -hmm. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can't you guess? You're the one that I love best. Now you can find over on our Facebook page very soon, um, you'll find a download because we've created a little activity book that you can use with your piano pupils. <clears throat> you can probably see that backwards, but um, there you go. There's an activity book over there and I'll take you through some of the some of the activities, just a few of them. It's the kind of song that you can use with uh, a, a pupil at many levels really, all, all beginners really, but at elementary you can do it for teaching pulse, you can do it for rhythm, you can do it for pitch patterns and that's really what I'm going to focus on today. So I'll teach you the song first, so my turn and I'm expecting you all out there when I do that, that's your turn. So my turn first, off I go, love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can't you guess? You're the one that I love best. You're all singing along out there. Um, so here's the song all the way through, just to give you the big picture. And remember, that's a really good thing to do with your pupils as well. You break it up phrase by phrase, but then you have to give them the big picture. I'm also going to do a little ostinato that I wouldn't do with your pupil straight away. Depends on the pupil, obviously. But um, this is something else you can do to actually make the song a little bit harder. But first, I've got a limited amount of time, so I'm going to do both at the same time. And a Question for you. How many times do you hear me sing Love Somebody? Mm, off I go, love somebody, can't... No, you see, I, I have to get my head around it. Start again. Yes, I do. Off I go, love somebody, yes, I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can't you guess? You're the one that I love best. And it's quite fun because it, it does make you work quite hard. OK, so let's move on um, and think about um, the different things you could do with it. As I said, it's about keeping the pulse. You can get the pupils to tap the rhythm of the words. Um, you can get the pupil to draw the phrases onto the activity book. But let's think about the pitch patterns of this. And... I'm just going to move the camera a moment because you'll see on the floor in front of me, there we go, these are my, <clears throat> my resources that I love to use, these are my floor spots and you'll see I've got two different, um, two different patterns and what I would do with my pupils is that I would warm them up. Now I use singing names so um, I'm going to do that but you could use degrees of the scale, one, three, five. And eventually we will use letter names, C, E, G. But to start with, I'm going to warm my pupils up and I'm going to sing a model for them and then they're going to copy me. So it might be Do, off I go, Do, me, so, so. Then it's the pupils' turn, Do, me, so, so. Or I might sing Off I go, do, do, me, so, pupil cop is just like that, or do, do, me, me, so. So I'm warming the pupil up so they can hear that pitch pattern. So I've done that with do, me, so, and then I'm going to do re, me, fa, and the pupil cop is re, me, fa. Oh, I love it. I've got some love, some likes coming. Just keep the likes coming because it means that I know somebody's there listening to me. Or you could do re, me, re, me, fa. Yeah. So you play some little games. You have a couple of moments, a couple of minutes probably, where the pupil copies 
whatever you do, you sing and the pupil copies. As the pupil begins to get more confident about this, you can take out singing names and instead you go, na, na, na. And the pupil this time has to step and this time to put in the singing name. So they would copy by going, do, mi, so. Or, na, na, na. Or, re, mi, fa is what the pupil copies. So let's come back to me again. What you're going to get eventually, what you're leading up to, is the you to be able to sing na 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 and the pupil to sing back do mi so so na 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 re mi fa and eventually we can go do mi so so re mi fa and then we're going to say okay so if C is Do, what note is Re, what note is Mi, what note is Fa, and what note is So? We turn them into letter names, so we eventually can sing C, D, E, F, G. And you might notice I'm still walking the, the spots even though you can't see me. So eventually you sing Na, 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 and the pupil sings back. C, E, G, G, and you also sing na, 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 and the pupil sings D, E, F, which means really that when they go to the piano, it's not a problem. They can sit down and they can play. I thought I'd gone out of tune. Without, without too many problems at all. So, hopefully that's given you a few ideas. That's just showing you what I would do with this song, the special Valentine song. Of course, you can do it with any song, that, exactly that same procedure. It's the way that we lead our pupils through that actually engages their imagination, but also gets them listening and really gets them hearing the difference in pitch patterns between the steps and the skips. What you'll see in the, in the pack, let me just move you so you can see a little bit more onto the piano. Here we go. What you'll see in the pack is it ends with, um, I've, I've put in a little arrangement, make up your own if you like, but here's the song one more time with the accompaniment. your pupils enjoy that enjoy using that this week as i say go over to on, on onto our facebook page and you'll see that you'll be able to download that if it's not there quite yet it will be there very shortly um, do like us if you haven't yet liked us at all and do follow us on our blog um, we're also keep a lookout as well we're holding a free webinar next tuesday and it's 7 p.m greenwich mean time i think that's at about two o'clock eastern standard time um, where we're going to be looking at group piano teaching and the benefits and how you can go about the practicalities of setting that up there'll be information about that coming out very soon in the next couple of days or so so hope to see some of you on there that's all for now happy teaching bye bye for now